was magical. It was, it was profound. It was spiritual. A true story of a woman's survival at sea navigating a hurricane-wrecked sailboat is being retold on the big screen. And movie writer Mike Scott with NOLA.com, the Times Picayune, is here to tell us about that. Good morning. Good morning to you. How's that for uh, a reminder that today I, is the start of hurricane season, that's right? That's pretty good stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Time, timely. Yeah. I'm not really sure the studio put it out for that reason, <laughs> yeah, but who knows, uh, who knows. adrift. Adrift, yeah. You know, probably... The more remarkable thing about this is that it's not a sequel. Here we are in the middle of the summer and we don't have some big sequel. And enjoy it while it lasts, though, because for the next eight weeks, we're going to get some blockbuster mm. sequel, spin off, remake, or something like Gee, that. Gee, is there a Fast and Furious? Never mind. No, not that's, yet. That's not kind yet. Of an inside joke, Mike and I have. So, you like this movie? Yeah, this is a good one. And this, uh, it's good, particularly because of Shailene Woodley, who's, who, who stars with Sam Clayton. They play a young couple, two young lovers who decide to set sail from Tahiti to San Diego and sail right into the teeth of a hurricane. And so, as you can imagine, everything goes sideways quickly and she really has to carry the water if you'll pardon the pun and and she helps keep it afloat she, she does her she does her job in this movie it's not going to finish at, uh, at the top of the box office solo is going to repeat as the winner deadpool 2 is going to be second this will finish third and tops among new releases uh, but but it's good stuff okay and then action point which is a comedy uh, it's, it's a comedy i haven't seen those so not a lot of people have seen it it hasn't screened widely but all you need to know about it is it's basically one of those jackass movies but with a plot johnny knoxville stars and, and a script uh, right, exactly. Uh, it's, 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 as it is. Uh, <laughs> Johnny Knoxville stars is a guy who runs a, an amusement park, an independent amusement park in 1979. And so he, Chris Pontius, and all their friends basically injured themselves for an hour and a half for our amusement. So if, if, if that sounds funny to you, it's out there. And if, if not, you probably want to see If you like this. those movies, then you'll probably like probably. that. And if you think they're... Garbage. Then, okay. <laughs> you said that. And finally, a documentary about Grace Jones. Yeah, here's, here's sort of our off-the-beaten-path selection for this week. It's <laughs> only playing at the, at the broad, I believe. Um, but, but it's, it's, a, it's a, a, port, a music documentary portrait of Grace Jones. It doesn't place her career in a broad context, um, but it really is sort of a fly-on-the-wall documentary that, that sort of hangs around her through the making of her, uh, her, her album, Hurricane, which is kind of a theme for this week, I guess. I guess so. As, as well as the subsequent tour. And it's interesting, as I was telling you before, before we came on, I didn't really know a lot about Grace Jones going in, other than you know, her, her role in the, uh, the James Bond movie from, what, 1987, View to a Kill. Um, but, but there's a lot here. She's a really fascinating individual. There's some, some really good uh, some production, some, some concert footage. So whether or not you know a lot about Grace Jones, this one's a good one to catch. That's, that's kind of different. Yes, right. indeed. And no Fast and Furious movie. Not yet. I'll, I'll keep you posted. Though. Inexplicably, Mike is surprised <laughs> that I'm a, a Fast and Furious fan. I uh -huh. can't quite understand that. <laughs> we have a disagreement about Vin Diesel. All right. It's uh, 846. I, I digress, I think. Shelby Latino is out at the Oyster Fest.